This series begins with a woman named Jean Hugyong, who works at the Korea Meteorological Administration's main office. She's been dating Hun Ki Jun for 10 years, and they plan to get married next month. Meanwhile, there's a junior meteorologist named Yi Xiu working at a branch office, and he's seen with his girlfriend, Chi Yu Jin. As Hug Yang was heading to work, her colleague, Sin Sako, called her about a possible hailstorm in the city. He wanted her to report it to their team leader, Choi. Hug Yang initially refused because they had analyzed the situation and didn't expect hail. But surprisingly, hail did happen, causing chaos and losses in the city. The director general, Ko Bong Chun, blamed Choi for this oversight, and Choi decided to hold a press conference. However, right before the conference, he had a heart attack and had to be rushed to the hospital. At that time, Hug Yang was asked to step in and represent Choi at the press conference. Afterward, Bong Chun asked her to temporarily take Choi's position, even though she don't want it because she was preparing for her wedding. But sadly, she had no choice but to accept the responsibility. A few days later, the Tamane office had an online meeting with other regional weather offices to discuss the day's weather forecast. During the meeting, Xiu shared his forecast of heavy rain in the capital area based on the data he had. But N. Dong Hun, who leads Gung Wan, disagreed with Xiu's analysis and they argued. Shortly after, Hug Yang stepped in to calm them down, saying that the main office would keep an eye on the situation. Xiu was disappointed because he had correctly predicted hail before but nobody wanted to listen to him this time. So he contacted Sako and asked him to issue a weather warning about the rain in the capital. Sako, who trusted Xiu's predictions, issued the warning without getting approval from the central TMA. This made Hug Yang upset, and she scolded Sako, but he defended his decision by saying he trusted Xiu, who had been right about the hail prediction. Soon after, Hug Yang went to talk to Xiu, but she felt embarrassed when it started raining while she was scolding him. After work, she tried to contact Ki Jun to discuss their wedding plans, but he didn't answer. So despite the rain, she went to his apartment. There she was shocked to find him sleeping with Eugene. Ki Jun realized Hug Yang was there and chased after her when she ran out. Because of that, she decided to cancel their wedding, and Ki Jun didn't offer any defense for his affair. Eugene also ended her relationship with Xiu when she found out about it. Two months later, Chuan had Hug Yang to tell her that he had left his job because of his bad health. Because of his departure, Hug Yang got promoted to become the head of the main division. Around the same time, people in the office were talking about her breakup with Ki Jun, especially since Ki Jun, who also worked at the Central TMA, had married the person he had an affair with. When Hug Yang got home from work, she was surprised to find that Ki Jun had taken some of his belongings from their apartment. When she confronted him, he explained that he did it because he thought they had bought the apartment with both their money. He suggested selling the apartment and splitting the proceeds equally. Hearing that, Hug Yang didn't respond and couldn't believe how Ki Jun was thinking. The next day, Xiu, who had been transferred to the TMA head office, was excited about working there. He told Hug Yang that he would be working as a junior meteorologist at the head office for the next two weeks. Surprisingly, Dong Hun was also transferred to the head office as a senior meteorologist under Hug Yang's leadership. This was unexpected and neither Dong Hun nor Xi Yu had anticipated working together at the same place. Not too long after that, the whole team had a meeting to figure out why the air temperature in the capital city suddenly dropped so much. After hearing everyone's thoughts, Hut Yang decided that this was just a regular case in today's world. She also had to hold a press conference to talk about it, and there she had to meet Ki Jun, who was the KMA spokesperson, and Eugene, who was a senior journalist covering national weather forecasts. In the evening, Dong Hun went home, but it didn't seem like he got a warm welcome from his wife, Yi Young Rei, or his daughter, Om Bo Mi. That's because he had been spending a lot of time at the office during his 14 years at TMA, instead of being with his family. Young Rei also scolded him for not telling her about his transfer to the head office. Meanwhile, Hut Yang couldn't sleep and decided to go to the office early to investigate why the cold temperature was still happening. To her surprise, Xiu was there and explained that he often came to the office early. He helped her check the weather and mentioned that Eugene, who married Ki Jun, was his ex-girlfriend. They became friends because they had both been left by their ex-partner who cheated on them. One morning, Hug Yang got a call from her older sister, Jean Tag Yang, who told her that Ki Jun had sent a document about sharing the profits from the sale of Hug Yang's apartment. Hearing this news, Hug Yang, who was feeling emotional, 
met Kijum in the busy office hallway to talk to him about his annoying behavior all this time. There, Kijun admitted that he had felt a lot of pressure being in a relationship with her for 10 years. Hut Yang fell silent and eventually agreed to sell the apartment, giving him 7% of the profits. This was because he had only paid a small portion of the installments, even though she had covered the down payment and other expenses. Ki Jun felt embarrassed because Hut Yang pointed out the facts, especially since he had asked for an equal share of the sale proceeds. After hearing about the argument between Hut Yang and Ki Jun, Xiu tried to cheer her up by inviting her for a drink after work. In a bar, they both shared their stories of failed relationships, and a little while later, they both got drunk and ended up sleeping together without realizing it. The next morning, Hug Yang seemed to regret what happened the night before with Xiu. She asked him to forget about it, but he casually walked away to the bathroom. On another occasion, Hug Yang's mom, Bei Su Jia, felt stressed when she thought about her two daughters' love lives. Her older daughter, Tag Yang was now a widow after getting divorced. Meanwhile, Hug Yang had called off her wedding, which made their family the talk of the town among the neighbors. This annoyed Su Jia because their neighbors kept comparing their kids' lives. On the other hand, Ki Jun came home from work and got annoyed seeing his messy apartment, even though he cleaned it every morning. He quickly teddied up, and when Eugene got home, she helped him clean the mess, apologizing because she was too busy to do it herself. While taking out the trash, she remembered that Xiu always insisted on doing that for her. Meanwhile, Xiu visited Hot Yang at her place to help her pack up some furniture she was getting rid of because she was moving out before selling her apartment. After they finished, Xiu asked her how she felt about him. Hot Yang admitted that she liked him but was afraid to start a new relationship with a co-worker after her bad experience with Ki Jun. She also worried about being Xiu's boss, which could cause problems with their colleagues. Xiu, who genuinely cared about her, tried to reassure her that he wouldn't repeat Ki Jun's mistakes. Hud Yang eventually melted and agreed to be with Xiu, but insisted that they keep their relationship a secret from everyone at the office. When she accepted his love, Xiu felt overjoyed and kissed her. On another day, the city was covered in thick fog, which made it difficult for drivers to see, leading to a series of accidents on a toll road involving 14 cars. This kept the central TMA team busy trying to figure out why the fog had appeared. Meanwhile, Hug Yang and Xiu, who were in a new relationship, tried to go about their work as colleagues as usual. When Sako and the others commented on how happy Xiu seemed in his new relationship, Hug Yang changed the topic by asking for a work report from Xiu. In the evening, Dong Hun tried to connect with Bo Mi, but his daughter was distant because she wasn't used to having him at home. Young Ray also treated him coldly, which irritated him, and he asked both of them to be kinder. When Dong Hun asked for their understanding, Young Ray expressed her disappointment about the past when he prioritized work over their family. Even when she was about to give birth to Bo Mi, Dong Hun didn't show concern and only came home when Bo Mi was three months old. After that, he disappeared again, making neighbors think of Young Ray as a widow, because she was often out alone without her husband. Dong Hun remained silent as he heard about how he had treated his wife and daughter in the past. Meanwhile, at Central TMA, Hug Yang had finished her work and was heading home when she unexpectedly ran into Eugene in the elevator. At that time, Eugene took the chance to interview Hug Yang about the thick fog in the city, saying she needed the opinion of the meteorologist team leader for her article. Hearing that, Hug Yang agreed, and they went to a cafe for the interview. The next day, Hug Yang was annoyed when she saw Eugene's article. Eugene had written that Central TMA had deliberately not provided an early warning about the thick fog. Furious, Hug Yang confronted Eugene and demanded an explanation for the false claims in her article. However, Eugene distorted the truth by saying that she had written the article based on her interview with Hug Yang, even though Hug Yang hadn't mentioned anything about an early warning for thick fog. Suddenly, Ki Jun appeared and scolded Eugene for being careless, as her article could harm their department's reputation. At that moment, Eugene didn't seem to accept Ki Jun's words and they argued, while Hug Yang chose to leave the argument behind. As June began, the Tanime had predicted that the weather would be hotter than in previous years. Strangely, in some areas, it rained heavily, leading to flooding when the rivers couldn't handle the excess rainwater. During a meeting, Xiu explained that the weather differences were due to atmospheric instability around Korea. In the evening, Dong Hun and Hug Yang visited the rainwater pump station to witness the search for flood victims who had gone missing. Luckily, they found the two missing people safe and sound, 
which relieved both Hug Yong and Dong Hun, because the flood didn't have any victim. After witnessing the rescue operation, they went to have dinner at a restaurant. At that time, Dong Hun opened up to Hug Yong about his family problems, explaining that he had decided to leave home after arguing with his wife to avoid making the situation at home worse. After dinner, Hut Yong helped the drunk Dong Hun out of the restaurant and took him to a nearby motel. When they arrived at the motel and Hut Yong was getting a room for Dong Hun, they unexpectedly ran into Xiu. This led to some suspicion and questions between them. Xiu asked why Hut Yong had brought Dong Hun to the motel instead of taking him home. As Hut Yong tried to explain the situation, a woman approached Xiu in a flirtatious manner, which left Hut Yong wondering what she was doing there. Because of what happened last night, the next day, Hug Yang asked Xiu to reconsider their relationship. She had doubts because of her past experience with being cheated on. Xiu explained that he wasn't having an affair with the woman they saw at the motel last night. He clarified that he had gone there to meet his father, Im Yang Hun, who had been spending his money on gambling with friends. During their meeting, Xiu asked his father not to contact him anymore and make his life even more difficult, especially since all his savings had been used for gambling. He even threatened to report his father to the police if he continued to harass him. Unfortunately, without Xiu's knowledge, and Yang Hun followed him out of the motel and overheard his conversation with Hug Yang. He realized that Hug Yang and his son were secretly involved at work. Hearing Xiu's side of the story, Hug Yang started to trust him again. A few days later, while the two main TMA divisions were monitoring the possibility of local rain, Hug Yang received a call from M. Yang Hun. He asked her to meet him somewhere, and then threatened to expose Hug Yang and Xiu's romantic relationship if she didn't give him 10 million won. At that time, Hug Yang was left speechless by Xiu's father's behavior. The next morning, Xiu went to see his father and gave him some money, telling him that it was all he had left. He asked his father not to keep asking him for money for gambling. During their conversation, M. Yang Hun mentioned Hug Yang, and Xiu realized that his father had met her to blackmail her. This angered Xiu and he told his father to stop meddling in his life. Shortly after, he rushed to meet Hug Yang to apologize for his father's behavior. She told him not to worry about it and asked him not to feel pressured by her father anymore. Then she invited him to her apartment for a meal and shared a bit about her own past. She talked about how she had seen her father go through a tough time when his company went bankrupt and their house was taken by the bank. After sharing her story, Hut Yang encouraged Xiu to open up to her about any problems he was facing. She didn't want to lose the person she loved. She also suggested that they live together to test their compatibility, but Xiu declined, explaining that a successful relationship depends on both parties adapting to each other. In the evening, after finishing work, Xiu invited Hut Yang to have dinner together. He mentioned that he was looking for a more affordable place to live because he couldn't afford the expensive rent for his current apartment. Hearing that, Hut Yang once again offered to let Xiu live with her, but he declined. He wanted to keep his romantic relationship separate from his daily life, and Hut Yang understood and didn't push him. After leaving the restaurant, Xiu went to meet Dong Hun, who was now staying in the office picket room after a fight with his wife at home. Since Xiu also needed a place to live, he decided to stay with Dong Hun in the picket room. A few days later, Hug Yang received complaints from other employees because two of her subordinates were staying in the picket room, making it unavailable for others. To avoid causing trouble in the office, Hug Yang went there and asked Dong Hun and Xiu to find somewhere else to stay. That night, she found them sleeping in a car since they hadn't found a place to live yet. Hug Yang offered them to stay in her apartment, as long as they shared the maintenance costs. Without any other options, Xiu and Dong Hun accepted the offer. Not too long after, Ki Jun, who was drunk, showed up at Hug Yang's apartment. She tried to refuse him and told him to go home to discuss his problems with Eugene. Since Ki Jun insisted, Hug Yang asked him to leave her apartment. In a semi conscious state, Ki Jun apologized for betraying Hug Yang before passing out. At that time, she planned to take him back to his apartment, but then Xi Yu arrived and took her place to help Ki Jun. When they got to Ki Jun's apartment, Eugene felt jealous after hearing Ki Juin repeatedly apologize to Hug Yang. On another day, Hug Yang was driving to work when she had a minor accident, damaging parts of her car. Then she contacted her insurance company to report it, but they informed her that her car wasn't covered by their insurance. At that moment, Ki Jun, who happened to be passing by, approached her and revealed his own car insurance issue. 
There he confessed that he had changed the car insurance to his friends without Hug Young's knowledge because he thought they would both use the same car after getting married. Hug Young got annoyed because Ki Jun always made decisions without discussing them with her, leaving her to deal with all the problems on her own. There, he apologized and asked her to go to the office with him. Meanwhile, Xiu was worried about Hug Young's condition after hearing about her accident, especially when he couldn't reach her on her phone. At the same time, he was surprised to see Hug Young arrive at the office with Ki Jun. In the afternoon, Eugene met Xiu to ask about what Ki Jun was doing when he went to Hug Young's apartment trunk. Xiu explained that Ki Jun had visited Hug Young to apologize for feeling guilty about betraying her in the past. Eugene admitted that she was concerned about her relationship with Ki Jun, who had started acting distant, especially after her husband expressed discomfort upon learning that Eugene and Xiu had lived together while dating. On another occasion, during a central TMA press conference, Ki Jun was surprised to see Eugene entering the room with Xiu. Feeling jealous, Ki Jun questioned Xiu about his relationship with his wife. Xiu calmly clarified that he had no relationship with Eugene, his ex girlfriend and that he wasn't someone who dwelled on the past like Ki Jun. Offended by this insinuation, Ki Jun became annoyed and publicly confronted Xiu. In the evening, Hug Yang invited Xiu to have a meal and tend to his wounds after the fight with Ki Jun earlier. She also apologized for making Xiu jealous when she saw him come to the office with Ki Jun. There she explained everything that had happened, and Xiu forgave her for the misunderstanding. Unbeknownst to them, Ki Jun was watching from outside the restaurant, and discovered that Xiu was secretly dating Hug Yong. Surprisingly, Ki Jun felt annoyed that his ex-girlfriend had moved on and was in a new relationship with someone else. The next day, Ki Jun met up with Hug Yong to talk about how close she and Xiu were at the shop the night before. Hug Yong didn't want to admit her feelings, so she said she didn't want to date her co-worker anymore because Ki Jun had hurt her in the past. At that time, Ki Jun confessed that he was worried about Hug Yong because he thought Xiu was using her to get back at him. Hug Yong, not wanting to hear him, decided to left. Since that day, Ki Jun started paying more attention to Hug Yong and realized he still liked her. He became distant from Eugene. One morning, Ki Jun went to Hug Yong's place to check on her and Xiu, who seemed to be going on vacation. He secretly followed their car to a camping site, but forgot his phone in his car. When he went back to get it, he found out that his car was being towed because he had parked it carelessly. On another day, the central KMA got lots of complaints from people because their weather predictions were wrong. So the whole team had a meeting to talk about the problem. During the meeting, Ki Jun and Xi Yu were arguing to prove their own ideas right. Then Bong Chun asked them to work out the argument together. Soon after, they went to a room to share their thoughts. And then Ki Jun suddenly told Xi Yu not to date Hug Yong if he was just playing with her. Xi Yu confessed that he genuinely liked Hug Yong and Ki Jun, who heard all of Xi Yu's confessions finally realized that he had been suspicious of Xi Yu all along. It turns out that Xi Yu didn't want revenge on Ki Jun through Hug Yong. After Xi Yu talked with Ki Jun, he met with Hug Yong to talk about their relationship. He told her he didn't want to get married, even though he loved someone else. Hug Yong believed that a romantic relationship should lead to marriage, so she asked him why he didn't want to marry at all. He explained that he was afraid of the responsibilities of being a husband and didn't want to burden his loved ones with his problems. After hearing about that, Hug Yong felt unsure about their future together. Later, still confused about her relationship with Xiu, Hug Yong asked Ki Jun about his life after marrying Eugene. Ki Jun admitted that he didn't expect marriage to make his life harder, and he felt more stressed because of it. Hug Yong was quiet as she tried to understand why Xiu didn't want to get married. One evening, Su Jia came to Hug Yong's apartment, looking shocked because she found out her daughter was living with two men. Hud Yong tried to explain that Dong Hun and Xi Yu were just staying at her place temporarily. However, Su Jia didn't believe her daughter's explanation. She planned to find a husband for Hud Yong and wanted her to marry right away. At that time, Su Jia reminded Hud Yong that she was not young anymore and needed to get married quickly to avoid gossip. As Hud Yong escorted her mother out of the apartment, she confessed that she didn't want to get married, which surprised Su Jia. A few days later, at the TMA head office, Dong Hun felt happy when he saw Bo Mi, who was on a school visit with her friends. Then he took this opportunity to spend time with his daughter and talk about his job as a meteorologist. He also asked Bo Mi to understand that his work at TNA could be challenging and sometimes kept him away from home. After learning about her father's work, 
Bomi began to understand why Dong Hund rarely came home. She realized that he couldn't leave his job, especially since he had been assigned to a city far from where they lived. When Bomi returned home, she shared everything she knew about her father's work with her mother. However, young Ray couldn't understand Dong Hun's busy schedule and even asked her daughter not to see her father again, despite Bo Mi's growing interest in studying meteorology. The next day, Bong Chun met with Hud Yang to discuss sending her team members to help the TMA team on Jeju Island prepare for the upcoming typhoon season. That evening, Hud Yang tried to talk to Xiu about sending him to Jeju Island as a representative meteorologist from the head office to monitor typhoon movements there. Although Xiu felt sad about being apart from Hug Yan for several months, he couldn't refuse her boss's orders. On the other hand, Yu Jin decided to leave Ki Jun's apartment to take some time alone and reflect on her relationship with her husband. Meanwhile, Dong Hun looked happy as he introduced Bo Mi to his co-workers during lunch. One of his co-workers praised Bo Mi for her academic achievements. During lunch, he gave her some ham, and unexpectedly, Bo Mi suddenly developed red spots on her neck and started coughing after eating the ham. In a panic, Dong Hun rushed Bo Mi to the hospital, where they found out she had eczema due to an allergy to processed meat. Young Ray, who knew that her daughter was in the hospital because of Dong Hun, became upset with her husband. She decided to file for divorce, and when she met Dong Hun at a shop, she admitted that she had been considering divorce for some time. Dong Hun, upon hearing his wife's explanation, could only stay silent as he received the divorce letter from Young Ray. Meanwhile, Eugene was in a cafe and she was seen booking a plane ticket to go back to her parents' house in Jiju. At the same time, Ki Jun felt sad after Eugene left his apartment, so he tried to reach out to her. Sadly, she decided to ignore all his messages and calls. Now, let's switch to Xiu, who had left for Jeju Island. When he arrived at the TMA Jiju office, he had a meeting with other meteorologists and the head of the TMA Jiju office, Song Mi Jin. During the meeting, Mi Jin was impressed by Xiu's knowledge, and asked him to check the weather conditions on Jeju Island right away. As he arrived at the location, he coincidentally ran into Eugene, who was walking with her mother and younger brother. It explained that he had been assigned by the TMA Jeju leadership to fly a device to track the storm's movement. Eugene's younger brother was interested in seeing the device fly, so she allowed Eugene and her family to come to the location where he was launching the device from a cliff. After arriving at the spot, Xiu began setting up a hot air balloon, even though it was raining. At that time, Eugene and her family stayed in the car, watching him work. Unexpectedly, while filling the hot air balloon with hydrogen gas, it suddenly exploded, injuring Xiu, and he had to be rushed to the hospital. Meanwhile, Hug Yang got news that Xiu had an accident, and she started to worry. Then, she asked her co-workers to contact the hospital where he was being treated. Suddenly, M. Yang Hund came to the central TMA office to ask for compensation for his son's accident. Hug Yang explained that Xiu had received good treatment, and the doctor said his eye injury wasn't too severe. But An Yang Hund got even angrier at the TMA and insisted on compensation, claiming that the TMA had made Xiu a first-degree disabled person. He even threatened to tell the media if his son didn't get proper compensation. At that moment, Hug Yang didn't want the situation to worsen, so she invited An Yang Hund to come to Jeju Island to see his son's condition in person before deciding on the compensation amount. Meanwhile, Ki Jun, who also heard about Xiu's accident, applied for leave permission so he could go to Jeju Island to meet Eugene. A few days later, Hug Yang went to Jeju Island with M. Yang Hun and Ki Jun. When they arrived at the Jeju Hospital, Hug Yang saw Xiu's condition right away. M. Yang Hun, on the other hand, talked to the doctor treating Xiu to learn about his son's condition. According to the doctor, Xiu had suffered a minor injury to his face and the cornea of his left eye due to the hot air balloon explosion. The doctor assured M. Yang Hun that Xi Yu had received good treatment. Even though his son's condition wasn't too serious, M. Yang Hun tried to take advantage of the situation. He asked the doctor to write a medical report about his son's cornea injury because he intended to use it to request a large compensation amount. M. Yang Hun then met Hug Yang and asked for 30 million won in compensation for his son's accident. At the same time, Xi Yu, who overheard the conversation, came out of the treatment room and scolded his father. He told M. Yang Hun that he knew his father didn't come to see him, but to ask for compensation money from the TMA, which M. Yang Hun planned to use for gambling. Xiu was angry and chose to leave the hospital. Then, 
Hug Yong tried to apologize for inviting M. Yong Hun to Jeju Island, but Xiu ignored her and asked to end their relationship. In the evening, a typhoon swept across the Korean peninsula, causing the loss of 120 lives and damages amounting to 80 billion won. Despite the destruction, the TNA received praise from the community because they had issued warnings that helped minimize the number of fatalities during the storm. On another day, Ki Jun went to see Eugene to apologize for making her sad. He even knelt down and asked her to go back to Seoul with him. Touched by his sincerity, Eugene agreed to return to Seoul with him. Meanwhile, Dong Hun, who had received divorce papers earlier, came home and asked Young Rae for a three-month grace period. He wanted to make amends for his past mistakes and create a happy family with her and Bo Mi. He promised to follow all of her decisions, even if she still chose to divorce him. Young Raid agreed to give him a two-month chance. The next day, Dong Hun came home with breakfast for his family, making Bo Mi happy because her father was willing to change to improve their family relationships. When Xiu returned from Jeju Island, he found out that everyone in the office knew about his relationship with Hud Yong. He got worried and rushed to tell her the news. Unfortunately, at the same time, Su Jia came and showed an intimate photo of them, making her suspect that they were in a romantic relationship. One night, M. Yong Hun had an accident and got hit by a car while trying to cross the road. He had to be hospitalized and tried to contact Xiu to let him know about his condition. However, Xiu chose to ignore his father's calls because he wanted nothing to do with him anymore. In the following days, everyone at the central KMA office talked about Hug Yong and Xiu being in a secret relationship, not realizing that they had actually broken up. Ki Jun, who knew about the gossip, met with Xiu and reminded him to take care of Hug Yong and not repeat the same mistake he made. Ki Jun regretted breaking up with Hug Yong and realized that she is a good woman. After hearing Ki Jun's advice, Xiu rushed to meet Hug Yong and asked her to keep their breakup a secret. He didn't want her to suffer more due to the gossip surrounding their relationship. On the other hand, Eugene goes to see Ki Jun and shares that she's pregnant. Sadly, Ki Jun doesn't seem happy, which disappoints her. Realizing her disappointment, Ki Jun tries to arrange a simple celebration to celebrate her pregnancy. When Eugene returns home, Ki Jun apologizes for not having the chance to congratulate her earlier because the news was unexpected for him. At that moment, Eugene reveals that she knows Ki Jun may not be thrilled about the pregnancy because he's afraid he won't be a good father. Because of this, she mentions considering an abortion. Meanwhile, Hug Yong is on her way home when she receives a call from M. Yong Hun, who asks her to come to the hospital because he couldn't reach Xiu. When she arrives at the hospital where M. Yong Hun is being treated, the doctor informs Hug Yong about a lump in M. Yong Hun's right lung, which might be a tumor. The doctor recommends a biopsy to confirm the lump. Without hesitation, she signs the biopsy form. On another occasion, Dong Hun contacts his wife to ask for suggestions for Bo Mi's birthday gift. Yun Rei suggests that he take the time and have dinner with his family. At the same time, Xiu met Hug Yong in the office pantry to say sorry, because he had scolded her earlier when all she wanted to do was share information about M. Yong Hun's condition. Xiu, who still had feelings for her, admitted that he had broken up with Hug Yong because he didn't want her to suffer due to her father's gambling problems. At that time, Hut Yong tried to understand his feelings and asked him not to feel guilty. Xiu then confessed that he still loved Hug Yong, leaving her speechless. In the evening, Dong Hun was on his way to a restaurant to celebrate Bo Mi's birthday when he received a call from the office asking him to handle something important. He had to call Young Rei and told her that he had to cancel their dinner plans. When Bo Mi found out, she understood her father's work commitments and was still happy because she knew he was doing what was best for the family. Switching to Hut Yong, she took Shi Yu to the hospital to get the results of M. Yong Hun's biopsy. Surprisingly, they knew that M. Yong Hun had stage 3 lung cancer, which had also spread to his spleen and stomach. Shi Yu, deeply concerned for M. Yong Hun, couldn't hold back his tears at his father's bedside. Meanwhile, Ki Jun was taking a break when Eugene suddenly had a stomachache. He rushed her to the hospital, where the doctor found that her uterus was stretching. When they heard the baby's heartbeat, Ki Jun was moved and decided to keep the baby. He promised to work even harder to provide the best for their child. A few days later, she received news that M. Yong Hun had left the treatment room, and he frantically searched for his father. Eventually, M. Yong Hun contacted Xi Yu to apologize for not being a good father. He advised his son to maintain his relationship with Hug Yong, 
because he thought she was a good woman for him. Xiu felt sad hearing his father's messages and asked M. Yonghun to do cancer treatment, but M. Yonghun refused, making Xiu cry. Unbeknownst to them, Su Jia secretly overheard their conversation. On the other hand, Bo Mi was in her mother's room when she stumbled upon her parents' divorce papers, which made her very sad. She shared her feelings with her mother, hoping that her parents wouldn't divorce, especially since she was growing closer to Dong Hun, who was becoming a better father. After hearing her daughter's emotions, young Ray rushed to meet Dong Hun to cancel their divorce, and Dong Hun was deeply touched by her decision. Now, turning to Hug Yong, who saw Su Jia waiting in front of her apartment door, she quickly invited her mother inside. Su Jia explained that she had overheard Xiu's conversation with her father on the phone the previous night. She realized that Xiu was a good man because he was trying to persuade his father to get treatment. Because of this, Su Jia told her daughter to rekindle her relationship with Xiu, because she knew they still loved each other. In the end of the series, it shows Hud Yang and Xiu meeting around the TMA central office when the first snow of winter falls. They reminisce about how they first met and how their romantic relationship began. There, Xiu also expressed that he could face all the challenges in his life as long as he was with someone he loved. Hug Yang smiled upon hearing this, and at that moment, they both decided to reconnect. The series ends. The moral lesson from the series is sometimes it takes a typhoon, a hot air balloon accident, and a surprise pregnancy to realize that love and family are more important than anything else. Oh, and never park your car carelessly cause it might just tell your chances of happiness away.